Hi everyone. Um, hey, and hey, I'm here with Brittany and um, we're going to be continuing a bit of the work we have done on uh, the Svelte Siren site. Um, so before we do that though, Brittany, um, there's a bit of a uh, big event on the weekend. So if we just want to absolutely tell us how much we're talking about Svelte Summit and uh, I just want to get some of the deets from uh from, from Brittany because all, all I had to go on was the YouTube videos and uh, the social images being shared by uh, everyone. So how was it? Exactly. Yeah, it was kind of a whirlwind. I uh, left here early Saturday morning and was probably up for 22 hours or something. <laughs> and I slept in the airport and came right back home. But it oh, was, man. I think it's one of those moments I will never forget and will be a defining moment in my career. So I was... Super excited to get to meet everyone. And it was so fantastic. There goes that light again. <laughs> it knows. It, it knows when you're streaming. It, it does. It knows like <laughs> when I go live and it's just like, I'm just going to start flashing at you. <laughs> hey, Prince. Hey, Prince. So I'm going to do a much better job today of uh, managing the uh, <laughs> the chat. And I promise I will, everyone, and I'll respond to you as soon as I see your messages. Um, it was, but it was so, so great to meet everyone. And I mean, everyone was so genuinely kind and nice and it's refreshing, I think, to have a community that's just supportive and collaborative and it was great. Oh, it looked awesome. Uh, and some of the talks were really good as well. Well, all of the talks were really good. All the ones which I saw. Uh, they were. I actually need yeah. to put time away to rewatch them because our Wi-Fi was not great at the watch party. So we only really got to see about three talks. So I need to rewatch the entire thing. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So um, shall we get started? Hey, um, hey Stephanie. How you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Um, uh, so, shall we get started? We are going to be looking at um, building the Svelte Siren site on a publish from GraphCMS. Um, and we did look at webhooks. Um, we can still look at webhooks, but um, there is uh, an integration we've got in GraphCMS for Netlify, which we can use to build on uh, oh, publish. Oh, fantastic. Um, but we could still take a look at the webhooks briefly for um, if you want to have um, a, a Discord uh, integration. So you can have uh, you can ping the Discord with the payload from the webhook when uh, there's something published on the CMS. Okay, cool. So yeah, I um, I just logged into Netlify because I didn't realize we would need that. So I wanted to make sure that I could log in. So I logged into Netlify yep. and cool, cool. I have my files open here, but I haven't pulled in a while. So I'm going to do a get pull just to get Sweet. up to date with everything. And we'll go ahead and create a new branch here. Um, feature. What are we going to be working on today? We're adding in. It's not going to be a webhook or is Netlify integration. Yeah. I think we can do it all from the CMS and from Netlify, but let's just make that branch anyway. Yeah, I'll just do feature slash NTL for Netlify, and then we'll go ahead and add and that for everyone. If I just move the camera here. Uh, no, that's worse, Scott. Let's try this one. No, we're still in the way. This one. Oh, that's better. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Those things are so hard. <laughs> It doesn't matter which streaming software you're using. <laughs> We're having a bit of a discussion about this, aren't we? It's, uh, yeah. it's, it's difficult. Things are hard. Mm. Things, things are hard. I will go ahead and NPM run devs. I'm sorry if I keep hitting my microphone. I'm going to move it up a little bit so I don't do that. Okay, so now we have move that off, and we have this here running. Okay, so what is first? What should we do first? Um, so if we go to, uh, Netlify quickly and we'll take a look at that, uh, could you, let's just move you and I back to the bottom here, Uh oh. Uh, here, let's go here. Right. Okay, cool. And could you bump up the, uh, the, the screen size just a touch. There we go. Brilliant. So site settings and we are, uh, we're building from gear, aren't we? So yes. I think, um, so in build deploy, let's just take a look at that. 
and then scroll down. So there's a bit for branches, deploy previews, build hooks. Build hooks. Right. So um, this, if we were going to use a, uh, a webhook for the build, this is where we do it. But this can be if I haven't looked into it, but this could be for uh, using it for Discord. Um, and then you would just put in your uh, callback URL in there. And then okay. once anything builds, that'll go off to Discord. But we can look at that another time. Uh, let's go over to Graph CMS. And over in the settings, so that's over to the, the bottom left there. There we go. Uh, uh, back one. Um, it's like the little, yeah, that's the web hooks. Uh, oh, so, okay. Yeah. Yep. Right. So that's in the wrong it, settings. <laughs> yeah. Integrations. Um, there we go. Okay. And Netlify. Look at that. Netlify right there. And enable. En enable. Connect and to then Netlify. Here, here it is. Yeah. We need to connect it to the project now. And so we're going to authorize this. Is this all okay? Yep. Okay. You can close this window now and return to the terminal or you can, oh, or it's oh. going to close it for me. Okay. Cool. <laughs> there okay. we go. So now this is enabled here. So let's, uh, uh, Netlify yeah, site. So we need to pick out the uh, the Netlify site name. I have way too many sites, as you can see. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> uh, uh, Spelt. So from here, we can we can have um, like um, um, we can use different branches i guess so you could have one for like production and you could have one for oh, okay. like a preview let's say uh, let's just do uh let's just do prod for now i guess uh so that okay, display how, name could be does it just select that automatically i don't have uh any like development branch or anything right now um okay let's mm -hmm. just leave it as the the production one so on the display name let's just call that the production one so it's felt sirens prod um and then okay. i'm Oh, I'm sorry. Here's my cat. It's Leo. He oh, to, hey. He wants to get through the door. <laughs> this, is, this is my job to him, to open doors. Um, okay, so now, um, anytime there's a change, we can see, if you scroll down a bit, we've got the model selection here. And um, we can choose anytime there's a change to any one of these models. Um Netlify That's, button in the sidebar, and that will push the thing to Netlify to rebuild. Yeah, that is nice. So we probably want it for sure on speaker and event. I uh, don't think we want it on. I don't have any of the pages. I was about to say, I, yeah, I don't think that's the only one. That's the only model you're using, right? Yeah, I think that's in our list for to do today is to clean up our schema a little bit because I use mm -hmm. the blog template and we have a lot of yeah. unneeded content in there. Although I would like to use it, I don't have it set up currently. Okay, so if we just hit enable on that now. Okay. Oh, I'm not keeping it on we chat. Are... Sorry, y'all. No, it's I'm okay. Abneach, we're integrating. Um, Hey. Grab PMS and Netlify. So we're going to make it so that we have a Netlify button. So when we publish our content, we can rebuild on Netlify and it will be live on the site. Uh huh. And that's hey, what Jen, we have how you doing? enabled. Uh, Evanish, um, we are um, adding I more just features him. to. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Sorry. So uh, have you saved that? Uh, you no, I have not. Okay, cool. So I almost now, said yes, if, and I have not. If we go back over to the content now. Um, okay. So, um, yep. And let's just change some of the content on uh, any of them. Is there anything just we can change? Just edit one? Yeah, just edit one. And then can you see over to the, the right here? Yeah, you got to see. Yeah. Start building. So we now have this Netlify button that says start building Spelt Sirens production. Yep. So awesome. That is fantastic. That was super easy. I thought that was going to be like a hard, we would have to code something. I, well, I haven't even touched the code yet. <laughs> so uh, take it. Yeah, thanks to uh, Jamie uh, for, for, for walking me through this earlier. Um, hey, Jacob. But, um, let's take a look. Okay. 
Yeah, I do remember you having this shit. Um, and right now, we're not using this cover image. Um, no I'm going to clear these because I don't think we're going to use them, but I'm going to leave the field for now. Uh -huh. So, and we're um, not using the SEO. We're not using the ex excerpt. So there's a lot of stuff in here that we could technically clean up. Clean up. Yeah. So um, where you just published that there, if we were doing this with a build hook, let's say, um, every time you, like, if you did it on publish and you did that, uh, you could quickly chew through your build minutes, let's say. So yeah. the integration does it so you can just do it on a click and say, right, I'm done now. Let's, let's go. Um, yeah. And since I cleared one. something that we're not even using on the site, I don't need to build. So it would have wasted a rebuild essentially and mm. wasted possibly a build minute minute. Okay, so we've got that published. Um, is there anything else that we need to do inside here? Um, I think that's it. Did you click the uh, the start build just to see, just to make sure that we are? I did not doing, do doing anything. Okay, let's do that, and then we'll click on that, and then we'll go over to make sure Netflix. that it works, and then we'll try yeah. to open it. This should give us a deploy preview as well. So if we hop on over to oh. uh, Net Netlify now and go to the build, uh, deploy, sorry. Um, that's it. Hey, there we go. Okay. Yeah, it's building. Sweet. Right, let's take a look at the list. Um, I haven't got it on the screen, so I'm going to have to switch screens quickly. Excuse me. Um, yeah, we need uh, we have clean clean up fields and schemas. Um, fix the required fields that couldn't be converted. So the date and yeah. time. Yeah, uh, uh, I was going to see if we could fix that today. This we'll one. Do that. We do have that it's required on here. So I wonder if we did do something. Edit field. We do have make field required. Um, was it the, the slug field we were having issues with? Yes, that was one of the ones I am having issues with. Uh, okay, so if we go back into edit that field now. So it, it was, was it there was, um, so what we have to do is a bit of uh, jigging around with uh, the validations. This was isn't the one that's doing it, though. It's the one for speaker, sorry. Uh -huh. So we had, we had one that was already in. Yeah. So we have two, don't we? And one was causing issues for us, right? What I was like, what happened to this bar? That's the bar I was missing. Okay. So speakers and um, handle URL. This is the one I was having trouble with. So this is the one I started trying to use the slug field. So if I create a slug here and I want to use it, I was doing the match validation or match a specific pattern and clicking URL. Oh, yeah. And this was uh, taking away my slashes. These slashes were going away. Yeah, that's a known issue. Actually, it's been worked on. Okay. Uh, so, I was asking for you on, uh, when was it? Friday last week, I think. Yeah, so yeah. It, it, it's, a known, it's a known bug. So I think the slug is actually working fine in events because it's actually a slug. Uh -huh. um, it works fine. It was the URL I was trying to use as a slug field that wasn't working. Ah, okay. So I thought there was an issue where we were trying to make a, a slug unique, was it? And then, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, set field. Oh, it's not required. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. So, right. Uh and these are the ones we're just generating back in the CMS, aren't they? So we can go back over to the, the content yes. and you could, right. Okay. So this is how, how we get around this. And this is a bit of a, um, it's, it, I had a uh, Fabian from uh, my work explain it to me. You yeah. need to put in uh, this default value to begin with. And then once you put that in, then you can make it required. So, okay, so um, the default value in on the content? Yeah, so um, what we're going to so, do, if, if we go back to the schema, and um, uh, where is it? Was it in? There it is. Okay, so if we go to edit field, 
and validation. Yeah. So if we take off the set field as unique and then go make field required and then just enter any value in here now because we're going to regenerate this uh, and then hit okay. save. Um, sorry, everyone. I am. Um, okay. Our, our, our cameras are in the way. Okay, cool. So now if we go back to the content and we can reach it, regenerate them um oh do we need to um right sorry um yep yeah. and then was it the event okay cool so can we these don't need regenerating i thought that the default value would have replaced what was in there no it didn't it yeah. doesn't look like it did anyways um, did so i you don't have to publish or save. No, or no, no, no. It's just changing it. So, so if we go back to uh, the the slug field and the schema again. In the schema. Yeah. Sorry. Um, and then we go back to edit and validations. So, so now it we, is marked required. Yeah. So can we set it as unique now? Brilliant. So. Fantastic. We just need to make sure that the slug field in our content now is isn't the, the default value we had is correct okay yeah so each one of these we need this to this is why i was in. so confused why the the field was Building it, design it hasn't changed kit. that one is correct all about adapters deploying in spelt kit while i'm here i'm going to clear the cover image save and then routes for spelt with routeify and clear and save and publish and let's spell an animate. Sweet. Well, I didn't do anything. Why does it ask me to publish? It seems like the publish is there all the time. <coughs> Excuse me. But, um, the omnipresent publish. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we, uh, if, if you go to the little like, uh, down Chevron, you can actually, uh, um, save, publish, and close, and then it will take you back to the, the content view, which is quite handy uh, if you're just doing, you know, if, if you keep on having to go back to the... Uh, having to do uh, the, other things. Okay, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Um, sweet. Uh, and it looks so, like you can schedule an item to be published. That's also awesome. Yes, that's, that's a new feature as well, scheduled publishing. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, clean up the fields in the schema, fix required field, um, and I feel like uh, I, I just cleaned it up by like removing all of those cover images. I don't know what we're going to end up keeping and doing away with yet. So maybe I'll just leave the rest of this here, even because we're not using it. I don't mm -hmm. know that we need to use it um, or worry about taking it away. So where are we on our list? We've um, oh, um, new field for optional link to the Discord event. Um, is that the HTML? Is that the uh, the regex for the HTML slug you wanted to add? Or is that something else? Um, we want a link to the speaker. So we need a new route for the speakers. Mm -hmm. And each speaker is going to be a link for their name. Let me see yep. if I, yeah, let's do the preview here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So on these, our names here are going to be a link that will go mm -hmm. to the speaker's route for that speaker. Mm -hmm. Does okay, that make so, sense? so yeah, I think so we, we can, need to create all, all of that. In the create, code. Yeah, so we can create a slug for the speaker name in the CMS. We already if, have all of that, right? Or do we have all of that? I don't know. No, we don't. You're right. So we do. In the schema, we need to create a new slug field. Mm hmm. Um, okay, so we want to generate it from a template from their uh, name, yeah, from their name, yeah, yeah, okay, and we're going to uh, use that as the title field. Oh, wait, in this case. Does that replace name or slug or what does that replace? Uh, 
it would replace the, the name, which I think is the title field already in this model, right? Yeah. So, okay. I don't know. Um, we want <laughs> this to be required. Oh, here we go so. again. So uh, take this off as unique. We'll do this again, yeah. So speaker, okay. And then take, take off yep, the field yep. as unique. Create it. Yeah. Is this this is a new field though, right? I don't know it why is. I was doing this. Okay, so we'll do that and then we'll just go do what we did with the last one. So go back into the validations. Speaker URL, validation, match a specific pattern. It and, we can set it, and we can set it as unique now. Now we can set it as unique. Okay, update. Brilliant. Could not apply schema yeah. changes because now I haven't actually went in and set these uh -huh. in the content, probably because yep. they're not unique. Yep. It's mad at me. So, yeah. Yep. So, if we go to regenerate here and then it will make it from the speaker's name. There we go. Nice. Save, save and publish and close. Okay. Yep. Oh, I'm going to try to do that real quick. Save, publish, and close. I'm not, I'm not a fan of this this workflow where you have to you have like the, the one confirmation and another confirmation. Uh, <laughs> it is, but then if it did it right away, somebody would do it by accident, and yeah, it would yeah. Be... Uh, so what's this warning? Could not apply. Oh, right, yeah, because of the the, the non-unique names. It looks like that. If I X that out, it will stop saying that there um save publish and close now we should be able to go back to the schema go down edit the field and oh no validations and it is unique okay sweet it so it automatically did that as soon as they were unique cool today awesome. i learned yeah all right so now we've got a speaker slug uh we could do a bit of coding yeah. um so we've done quite a lot in, in 20 minutes already and we haven't touched any code yeah. <laughs> pretty cool so, uh, there. <laughs> all right so we need let's see where we're at i'm going to close that lib folder um we're going to need a speaker's route yep so that means we need a speaker's folder and then inside that folder we need an index.spelt file which will be the speaker's route and we need a bracket slug dot spell oh, file yeah. for the individual speaker. Yep. And, and then. Yep. An endpoint. Um, and we need the endpoints. Correct. That's what I was going to say. I'm actually just going to copy these two because I think they're going to be pretty it, similar. Yeah. yeah copy and just paste them in there. So what we've oh, had. We're going to have to Things. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Brittany. Yeah, you, you, you carry on. Uh, what I was going to say is that we did a bit of work on this um, after the stream, didn't we? So we haven't got the queries directly in the endpoint. We have them in a queries uh, folder. Right? That is true. Yeah. We did. We did a little bit off stream here. So we should probably show that, right? We created a utils folder and we have this GraphQL folder where we've moved our queries and our GraphQL client call to these mm. other files. Scott was nice enough to add those and we did a little bit of rearranging just to clean up the code a little bit. So we have our queries in this queries file inside of the GraphQL folder. And Sweet. what we are doing in these, we're going to have to change, create the speaker's query and then change these to match the speaker's query, correct? Yep. Is that right? So yep. we need to create two new queries here yep. so we could okay. do that in the uh in the graph cms playground um okay could just use the the editor in there um could we uh just just bump up the uh the, the font size yep. here a bit sweet so we're doing speaker so uh we can do query we could just write all here and then just check it and then put it into uh, yes, it's going to be for speakers. We'll do for. Is it capital? Uh, you can put it as capital. I, I like to uh, 
have it as capital, but uh, I'm not sure what the if there is a convention. Uh, so this is going to be all the speakers. So we're going to have uh, Curly Boys. Um, and then we can just start typing stuff out. And then the IntelliSense should uh, help us out here with GraphQL. So, so we have speaker name. Um, well, do we have anything? Speakers is an array of nothing, right? And then it's just got the speaker. Is that how? Uh, no, we should just be able to do speakers. Um, so go back up to where you were, speakers. So because speakers oh. is an array of each individual speaker, so don't we have to go into speaker? Uh, <clears throat> for all of the speakers, we're just going to list them all out in one. And then yeah. for an individual one, we'll just have a speaker query. Yes. So if you do, uh, yeah, so this oh, is... Oh, I hit something on my mouse and it just took me back. Sorry. It's okay. There we go. So yeah, we'll do uh, speakers and then we'll have the speakers name because it will list them all out in, in an array for us so this will just be like the index of all the speakers and then for an individual speaker we can just do a query where we but i can't access the name here so. yeah uh so put in speakers and then curly boys again so speakers is the name of the query and uh -huh. then, speakers, oh, so then we need to go speakers, speakers is, is the model yeah gotcha. and, then we can have, uh, and then we need name and yep. Slug, I guess. Um, bio. I'm not sure what other fields are. Bio. In there. We don't have anything in the bios right now, but we'll add that after. Uh -huh. uh, image. Picture. <laughs> A picture. And for that, we need ID and URL. Uh -huh. Did I get it right? Yep. <laughs> Sweet. And then okay. let's just uh, hit hit the play button here and see what we got. Oh, perfect. Yay. Okay. So I have my bio in there, but um, the other three, I do not have them yet. So That's cool. we'll have to create those at some point, but I can do that later. Is there okay. anything else we need from this? So if you just hit the prettify button there as well, it'll uh, tidy up the spacing on. Ooh, yep. nice. Okay. So um, there may be, but I can adjust that. I just want to yeah. get this route created and... So we can throw that in below the, uh, no. Yeah. So when I, uh, yeah, export it as a variable. Yeah. And then we just want to throw it in those back ticks there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And now we, we can go into our endpoint now and then, yeah. And then we're going to change this to query speakers this can get whoops events can get changed to speakers mm -hmm. Ooh, okay that should be that let's try the yeah. um endpoint so if we go over to uh localhost 3000 forward slash speakers forward slash index dot json i gotta remember where go i have everything data. else <laughs> okay Slash speakers. But JSON, is that what we said? Uh, or is it? Uh, oh, yeah, speakers.json, yeah. I, I, I said index.json, but I was wrong. Uh, kind of really copy undefined. definition of undefined. So it might be speakers and then. Oh, no, I don't have anything in the load function. Does that matter? No, it doesn't um, matter. Uh, in, no, in the index file, don't think so. So let's just try index.json here. Uh, index.json? Uh, sorry, speakers. forward slash dot index.json. Empty array. M an empty okay. array. Um, speakers.json? Nope. Um, it, array still. It, it should be speakers.json, speakers I'm sure of it. Oh, oh the wrong thing. Oh, I think so. Oops. Uh, just try um, speakers. Speakers. Jason. Um, so um, 
uh, forward slash speakers, forward slash Locos 3000, forward slash forward slash speakers. Oh, you mean Jason. without the yeah. route? Yeah. That should be it. Ah, yeah. there we go. Okay. So we have our data on the server. Yep. We now need to get it on the um, in the load function of the index for uh, speakers. Yeah. Yes. So we are in the speakers route and going to index.svelte. I'm going to close. I'll make that a little bigger and close the terminal so we don't have to look at that and so we can see a little bit better. I have a snippet for um, the context yeah, module. Svelte snippets. So <laughs> is, yeah. Much easier than typing They're all so of that handy. in. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's an extension, uh, Svelte Snippets, and it's like S, you know, uh, S for each and S. Oh, it's, yeah, it's yeah, quite, yeah. It's really handy. I use those handy. too. I, I forget I have those sometimes, though. Yeah. So here we want to destructure and grab fetch out. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. And we need to create... Um, that await fetch and then yeah, we're going beautiful. to hit speakers.json speakers.json it's pretty much the, the same pattern as what we did for events um, and then we so, need to return our props and our props yep. are speakers and, and then, we want to just structure speakers as well I'd say um, okay here? Uh, in, in, in the, oh, no. uh, oh, you the declaration. Here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then we want to accept it as props, don't we? And then we'll see what we got. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the export let speakers to go ahead and grab the props on the front end, and we'll see if we can grab those export let speakers and um, console.log speakers. Let's see if we can go just speakers and see what we have. Undefined. Undefined. Okay. Um, let's take a look at our events route uh, and see if we've done anything. Uh, Okay. The same, yeah. Uh, so we didn't destructure it. It was the curly boys. It's my, it's my fault. I'm sorry. It's, it's always the curly boys. Like I <laughs> feel like I do that every time. I either destructure it or don't destructure it, and it wants one or the other. And let's see. There's a promise pending. Okay, so are we awaiting it? So we've got. Am I, oh, I didn't await the. Uh, and now we have it. Let's pull that back. Perfect. Awesome. Do we have. Oh, we don't have components and stuff for this, do we? So Let's we're going to be building can... some. Put this into the bottom here so we can see that. Nice. Okay. So we have that coming in. Um, we could do like a down here s each block that's what you were talking about yeah yeah that's the one we're gonna do speakers as speaker yep actually i'm gonna destructure that and grab off what all did we query we queried name slug i don't have the bio i'm going to do um picture picture mm-hmm Ow, I cannot type today. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, everyone. And now... Jacob found it. <laughs> Need to await the response, Jason. Thanks, Jacob. Everyone uh, finds it, and then yeah. I find out about it like five minutes later. <laughs> I'm doing a terrible job of... Uh, oh, that's okay. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Okay, so we have each speaker's coming through. We want to just... I'm going to do an H2 of the name. I'm going to put an H1 on this page. It's not going to look exactly right yet, but we'll see if we can get something through. Um, so the slug is going to be an href. Slug. Is, 
is that slug going to um, need a prefix, right? Yeah, we're going to need to put it in some uh, back ticks. Um, oh, okay. Back ticks, and we need a slash speakers yeah. slash slug. Is that uh, correct? Do, and it's still not sign. liking it because I have to do the be, dollar sign. Yeah. Maybe put that in some curly boys from between oh, the yep. yeah that's it yeah between the back ticks yep. There we go. Uh, what's it complaining about now? I can see a squiggly line. It's because on the I page. haven't closed the a tag. So ah. here, um, actually maybe I should wrap this around their name. So name and take this off and the h two and move it outside of the a bracket. So now we've got that. Oh, hey. look at that. Is it possible to bump up your editor font size just a touch? This one? Yep. Brilliant. Can. I'm going to go ahead and close this side because we're going to. Yeah, we don't need that now. A, okay. All right, sweet. So um, should we. So if we click on one of these, we'll get a 404 now, won't we? Because we, the, the, we the, will because we haven't set anything up. Yeah. I'm going to do um, an image src equal to picture.url. Oh, okay. Thank you, VS Code. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I seriously, I think because of the angle, I told you my, my wireless mouse died. Yeah. So I'm using a connected mouse and I, it doesn't reach all the way over here where I need to sit. So I'm like, Typing in this oh. little cramped up corner, <laughs> and the alt have to, uh, have to stretch out afterwards to see your, uh, you know, get any sort of pains in your back where you're in an odd position. <laughs> That's okay. I can I can scrunch up for an hour. Oh, okay, and these are, oh, yeah. let's make them a little smaller. So, um, image because Svelte has that scope styling, we can just use the image tag without doing anything fancy. And I'm uh -huh. just going to put width of let's just put 50 pixels on it for now. No, not that. Maybe a hundred, not a thousand. And let's give this an article tag around it, and then we'll style the article. Not to make it beautiful yet, but we're going to make it look like kind of decent. We'll do display of flex and align item center. And give it a gap. Uh, I have some CSS variables set up here for that. Nice. And I'm going to use my four. That should be one rim between those. So still not the most beautiful thing, but looks a little bit better. Mm -hmm. We also need something. Let's do a section to separate this. I love this font as well. What font is this? Very Which swishy. one? This uh, one? On the names. Yeah, yeah. That is... You're going to ask me, and I'm going to have to go look it up. Oh, uh, it's okay. It's, it's I want, fine. <laughs> no, it's right here. This is the other nice thing is about design systems. We have our Sinzel, Sinzel Decorative. Mm. We have uh, all of our CSS variables in these um, little SCSS files up there. It's really nice. So I'm going to do the section and make that display of grid and give it a gap of bar gap let's try eight and now I'll give it a little bit of spacing and I actually on this every time I use grid I like to use grid template columns and do this little trick min max of zero one of far because if you don't sometimes when you go down to mobile size it will make it where it overflows so that will prevent your overflow on grid items mm. Okay, so that route looks a little better. Let's go and finish out our slug route. So now Sweet. we need to go to the slug.json and fix this. So we need a new query. Let's bring this back up. And you got this? No. Okay. So, <laughs> this is, this uh, is your, your side of it. I, I will help so, you with the CSS if you help me with the <laughs> So uh, delete the S off the speakers there. Okay. And uh, put in some uh, on back up on the query because we're going to pass in a variable. Oh, oh so, okay. Yeah, yep. here, yeah, round boys and then uh, slug. 
yeah, I was just thinking, what are we going to do on? So, uh, sorry, dollar slug is how you define oh, dollar a variable. Slug. And then a colon and then a space. And this is going to be a string, uh, capital S. Oh, just a for capital the type. S. And then an exclamation. Then, yeah, to call it required. And then in the, uh, the, the, the actual speaker yep, here, this is going to be, um, what have we got available? Do we, we probably don't need Go. that speaker now, right? Um, I'm just trying to think of what's available on, oh, the, no, uh, we on do. the model. Yeah, so in speaker, just put in curly braces. Uh, not curly, sorry, uh, the round boys. And we're going to say where slug. Hang on. No, 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 no. We're going to do it on the... Uh, um, what are we going to do it on? We're going to do it on the slug, right? So... What did we have over here? Wow, that is... Yeah, it... Once you sort of bump up the uh, the the zoom level on 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 that, it, it goes a bit wonky. So when we went to events, we did event slug string. Yeah, so we're saying where slug. Yeah, so speakers where slug colon yep. dollar sign slug. There you go. Okay, let me make this big again. Now that we kind of know where we're going. And now we're in speakers. So, yeah, if you just try to run this. Uh, actually, sorry, in the query variables down the bottom here. Oh. Uh, if you just tap on that and then uh, open up some curly boys and then put in slug. And it should yeah, also complete it for you there. And then in some um, quotes, double quotes, let's put in um, one of the slugs we have available. So just try right. Willow Ghost. Oh, oh you're oh. right, yeah, sure. That's fine. I was just looking at oh, the screen to see what's available. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, play. Oh, there nice. Okay. So cool. there is mine. Perfect. So we can prettify this and then move it over to the code. Copy and move that. Now in our code, we need to create a new export. Export const query speaker equals GQL backticks. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting to turn ligatures off. I'm not sure if that actually bothers anyone, but I really like the curly, I love the ligatures, pretty, yeah. cursive name, and I like the ligatures, so. Yeah. Okay, so now we have our speaker query created. We need to go into our slug route and yep. fix this, which, oh no, not that, slug.json. And change event to speaker and event here to speaker. And then we need to change events. How does it say events? Does Is it still supposed to say speakers, plural? Speaker, I guess it does. Um, hang on, what's in the query? Because uh, we're just we thinking have, out. Uh, it is speakers because we don't have the singular. We're not using the singular. Okay. We're using cool. the plural version of it. So it is speakers. Okay. So we need to make sure that that is working. So we're going to go to slash Brittany Postma.json. Yeah. Hey, mm. I like when it works the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use my, I, I don't even remember what the snippet is. I just type until it starts to come up. <laughs> so our context module script and we need to get the fetch but we also yeah. in this case need to get the page right page params yeah so you can do page, page and we do colon, colon yeah, params, yeah. params to grab the slug parameter off of the url coming in mm -hmm. okay so we need to do all of this again const res equals await fetch and this time we're going to fetch we need back ticks because we're going to have to put some variables in here. And this is going to be forward slash speakers, forward slash rams.json. But I need to fix that. I see. I messed up there. That's fine. Yeah. So that is going to pull in this, like, Brittany Postman, this slug from the URL and put it into that slot so that we're able to grab that. And then we need to const speakers equals... Um, Await this time. Let's await it. It's Jacob. <laughs> and re return it. Save that. And then we're going to create our regular script here. Oh, 
I just did something. Autocomplete sometimes. This is why I don't know if I would like, um, oh, what's everybody using right now that like Copilot? fills out their Yes. I don't know if I would like Copilot because it would just do random stuff. And then I'm like, what yeah, did you does. just do? Yeah, it does. We need to create a variable <laughs> for speakers. And because it is an array, which Willow was so helpful in letting us know last time <laughs> that I was trying to call an array without doing an each block, we're going to use a spell each, even though we only have one coming back. Speakers as ND structure. Again, we're going to get name, structure. I don't need the slug this time. We might be able to take yeah. some of that out. But let's just do name and picture for now. And in here, we will give the name an H1 because it's the only thing on the page. The name. And... Oh, I've got Darcy as well. Another cat. <laughs> How <laughs> many cats do you have? I've got three cats. There you go. Oh, my goodness. And this was picture.url, and the alt is the name. Let's see what happens when we go back to the speakers route and we click on my name. Nothing. We have nothing in the console. Uh, did we console log out? Console this? Yeah. Log speakers. Empty array. Is this one, does this one need to be destructured? Let's see what we're doing over in. Oh, we destructured it here. That's interesting. This is why I said that. Oh. Um, oh. Should, yeah. Oh, really? What? Uh, no, no, there's nothing in there. Okay, cool. It's still um, an empty array. Yeah, so I think it's um, – so go back, take um, the back to the destructuring off of what we're returning for the props there and just try it around where we're defining uh, the speaker's variable. So const curly boys. Is it – Oh, here? Yeah. We get anything? No. Nope. Now it's not an array anymore. So for the uh, the query. Am I typing this thing correctly? Speakers param yeah. Speakers params. Oh no, we need the slug. So we need to get the slug from yeah, yeah. Um, so just oh. above so, But yeah, the yeah. params are what are the params? So let's see. Let's console.log the params and just what we're getting here not anything anything An there we go the params slug. Slug. yeah that's what we need okay so i need to do params.slug and now it works <laughs> okay Perfect. cool and um put in the bio i guess okay. and i'm gonna do the bio that was called biography uh, that's not how you spell biography. Uh, maybe it's with this. Um, how, how was it in the uh, the model on Graph CMS? Is it is it Markdown? Is it? Uh, I mean, it looks fine. The biography. Yeah. Oh, um, let's look at that because we could use rich text, right? I don't think I am using rich text, but. Um, Uh, biography um, this came from the um, multi-line text okay um this came from the so if you click on edit blog. field uh if you click on edit field and the top left corner can you see where the the little icon yeah so if you click on that uh, uh yeah you can make it in a markdown sweet okay so we update that yeah and then you're going to show me how that changes the site <laughs> Um, we can go back to the content, check out the content um, okay. in the content model. So let's go to um, speaker. Do that on speaker. Brittany. Okay, cool. So we could put in some like formatting and stuff now. 
Let's just like you mean like this? Whoops. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is that is that just like one long paragraph that for? It is. The, yeah, it was just oh, a okay. paragraph of text. So. Okay. So if you save and publish now. Um, and then if we go right, so we can use the uh, HTML directive now, and that should. Yeah. That's what I was gonna yeah. say is that we would need to do something in the markup to make it so at HTML. Uh, you can colon. do it in, in between the curly braces for biography. So if you just do. Oh. Um, uh, yeah, that's it. Ah. No, that didn't work either. Do we need to use marked? Hang on. No, we should be able to do. Oh, it's coming through as just like regular text. Yeah. It's, it's not, not coming through as and HTML, thought, so Spelt wouldn't pick I that up. Thought, do we, oh, have we got to use like something to, to transform it like marked? Hang on. Um, should be raw HTML. It, uh, it should be coming through as raw HTML. So if we... Let's see what that yeah, looks like. Yeah, inspect it. Here. Sorry, this is tiny. Um, it's just a it's just just quote. a string. Uh huh. <clears throat> I thought the HTML would have. I thought it would have come from GraphCMS as. Um, so if you go back to the. Um, the, the the playground and we'll take a quick if we run the query there and see what we get back from it's just a no, string. it's just a string um i wonder if we're doing something wrong in the biography part oh i'm in the wrong one um no it looks fine yeah that does so look fine should... because you preview it and it comes through that would be Neat little thing to have there. Do a little HR tag if it would. I don't know why it's got two of them. Why does it have uh, that little underline? Does the the H one sometimes has uh, its own a underline? Default styling to it. Okay. But we can do yeah what we want with that in the front end. But I'm I am uh, maybe we've got. A, to uh, use marked, do you know the uh, the markdown parser? Just yeah. to just, I'm not sure if we need to um, do that though. But it's returning uh -huh. even even before it's in the code, string, it's yeah. returning a string, which is not what it should be returning. So this no. is not giving us the correct data back. Um, Schema for speaker. So just to test out this, our suspicion here, do you just want to put on a, uh, a, a new markdown field and just call it something which we can delete on yeah. the, the speaker model, put something in there and then we'll, we'll take a look at the, we'll take a look at it in the, um, um, in, in the GraphQL playground, see what the data looks like there and then see, see what we can do with that from there, I guess. Fun text. <laughs> uh, have you put some content in there? I haven't put anything in it right now, so uh, not there. Content speaker. Give it some fun text. And for fun text, we're going to go to cat ipsum. <laughs> Make muffins. Make muffins. <laughs> And we're going to copy. Okay, we're going to do cat. We're going to paste that. We're going to preview it. And it works. Right. Actually, so if we I'm save gonna... and publish that, and then we can. Coding cat. <laughs> save. Save. But in this right, fun take... text, it's still coming through yeah. as a stream. Uh, it's got it's got backslashes. Oh, it's got it in the biography as well. So I didn't see that. We've got the uh, backslash new line, right? Yeah. So, um, let's 
Let's use marked. Let's uh, we can delete that from the model now. You don't need that. We've okay. I, I didn't I didn't see it initially that there was uh, uh, the the backslash n for for new line. So I'm going to presume that's just how the, the, how it should be. So I do apologize. Um, let's use. Are um, you able to use MD specs for that? Oh, you still need marked under the hood for MD specs too, right? Yeah. Oh, ghost, ghost here. Hey, ghost. Um, hey. Yeah. Yeah. So, ghost is using marked on her side to do it. Let's see what we've got here. Whoops. This one. Uh, if I was using kit, I'd place marked then in the load function, sure. which is an option for you. Uh, do you know what she means by that? Pass so, in marked. the load function, we would. Um, probably destructure off the markdown piece and yeah do something with it up here in the load function i assume um, i don't know what we would do with it i guess like use mark to put it into the correct format yeah so could you install marked uh npm install dev marked and then we'll just um use that in the um in the script tags. Sometimes my uh, my terminal just likes to not type out when I'm actually typing. Uh, but let's make sure that we got the correct package because I just typed all that without being able to see it. Well, so yeah, marked. That's cool. yep. Perfect. I typed correctly. <laughs> cool. So in uh, slug.svelte now under uh, our script tag. Um, slug script? Okay. Um, is this where, yes, this is where we are. So, just wrap biography in. Uh, so yeah, import uh, marked from marked. Um, we can do it in the script tags, can't we? Not the context module. Down here. Yeah, import marked from marked. Okay, cool. And then uh, just just wrap biography in marked. So marked. Curly boys and then put both yeah. in the curly. Like, like uh, round, round boys. And I have to run my server again. I don't know why it is doing that. That is super weird. It does not like that. Oh, um, maybe I. Let's try this. Import from March and go back and see what it populates. Populating anything is that not good? Um, no, it's it's installed it right. I need to make this smaller for a second so I can read what okay. this is saying. Yeah. Default is not a function, so oh, maybe it's... try destructuring that. Yeah, I didn't know it was a named export. Yeah. Okay, cool. It's a named export. <laughs> okay, and go away, please. Oh, there we go. Now it's correct. Hey. So a uh, good point from Ghost here about sanitizing the uh, generated HTML. Um, because we know what we're generating on the uh, the CMS, um, it's, it's always a good practice to do it, but we know what's going in there. So um, I, I don't really think there's, there's a need for it. Uh, I'm happy to be proved wrong though. Uh, Ghost, if you've got anything to uh, add. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I'm just okay, trying if, to if we're building the size statically, it won't matter. Cool. Pretty, again. Okay, yeah, we've got to add some pre-rendering. Um, what else do we need? Grid, template, columns, max zero one fr, and I'm going to do to place place items center and place content center. Some fancy little shortcuts on centering it, but because we don't have a height, it won't. So I'm gonna get a bit of height. Ooh. I don't know what that header height is, so I'm going to try 
100 VH minus 50 pixels, and we'll see if that's like ish. Oh. Don't want the scroll bar. There we go. I don't need the calc now, but that'll work for right now. Okay. Awesome. So looks great. So um, I will go ahead and add all my changes. I'm gonna shut down the server. Get okay. This is really bothering me. Okay, there we go. No. <laughs> oh man. Why are you uh, doing this? Okay. Sometimes um, the the built-in terminal rendering can be a bit uh, off. Sometimes I'd say. Um, yeah, I, I just okay. use. Uh, I just said created speakers route and slug for speaker. Um, added Netlify publish. No, not publish. Build button to graph CMS. It push origin feature slash NTL. And that is now up on GitHub. Brilliant. Fantastic. It's just coming just under the hour, just over the hour. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Not we, quite. We, and I mean, we, we added quite a lot of stuff there. Yeah. I feel like we got a lot of stuff done. So let's compare that and pull the request and create the pull request. And we'll actually be able to see the deploy preview on Netlify. So that will be, you know, what we didn't do, what I just realized we didn't do. Real quick, we need to go to the events route and wrap it because we have no way to get there unless we type it right now. So on the events route for the name, the handle URL, where's the name? The oh. name right here, we need to do an A tag with an href equal to, and we're going to have to change our query, aren't we? Uh, for the, the, the speaker slug, is that right? We need to get the slug for the speaker. So here we need to have the, what did we call it in Graph CMS? I lost all of my stuff. Where is it at? Where are you, Graph CMS? I don't know where it went. Okay. <laughs> um, queries there. Queries. What are we speakers? What did we call the speaker slug? Um, oh, uh, just slug. It's just slug, right? And that shouldn't be an event. That should be an events plural. Actually, it should be in both, but. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Looks See what I'm good. doing now? Sorry, but, but, I was not doing a very good job of no, no, no. So this um, slug. Are we using a slug variable anywhere else? I'm just. Uh, I don't think we are. Okay, cool. We, well, oh, we just are. Sorry to be any, any collisions. We are. Um, but that's for events, and we're, look, we're in the speakers uh, array there, aren't we? So that should be fine, I guess. We could just save it and then see what we got. Uh, it's not complaining. So if we go to event and then hover. Now this not found. Ah. Uh, oh, because, uh, yeah. Speaker. I didn't. Yeah. So we need another curly boys. We need back ticks. Back ticks. And now we need to do speak. Is it slash speakers or do you have yeah, to do the four slash? Slash speakers. Yeah. Slash speakers. Now let's try that again. Boom. Okay. Now we can work with that. That's enough in there. So now I'm going to add it again. Commit. Added name slug for speaker. Push origin feature. And not type. And go back to GitHub. 
I have way too many windows open. It's my everyday life trying to find the window <laughs> I'm working on. Uh, I just yeah. clicked on that and it popped open um, Restream. So yeah, GitHub. Please work. Oh, somebody yeah, updated yeah. me and I didn't see that. Need to check out that. So once these checks are done, we'll actually be able to view the, oh no, why? Let's check it out. Um, uh, let's empty bio, I'm guessing. So let's maybe put in some, uh, I'm guessing. You think it's because of the bio? Maybe. Uh, input parameter is undefined or null. Um, oh, okay, because it is null in there. I didn't think try, I had it as required, though. Let's just have one of the other routes. Um, just check one, like check for Willow on uh, a local host. See what's going on now. Check for Willow on local host. Yeah, so let's just go back to the speakers list and pick out someone who hasn't got uh, a bio. So, Steph... Um, mm, it is. It's giving us an error. Yeah, well, I'm guessing we need to just so parameters in, undefined or uh, null. So yeah, we need some content in there in Graph CMS, right? Yeah, or we could just um, we could just put like a ternary into the uh, the markup for now, just to say if okay. it's empty, just return empty. Um, so on the speakers speaker route right the slug route mm -hmm. yeah so yep. here we need an s if block Is that right yep. yep let's do that and then um if biography <sighs> please autocomplete <laughs> Ah, hey. okay. There we go. Okay, let's try that again. Fuck around bio, push origin feature. Okay, where did GitHub go? Oh, it's here. Now it should restart that automatically. We'll see. There yeah, you go. Oh, there you go. Dun, dun, dun. We need some like music while it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the elevator music I'm playing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if we just click on like the details, will it take us to the build so we can watch it? It build? will. It'll show us the build yeah. processing, and then once it's done, we'll be able to. Oh, it's already done. Hey. There we go. Preview events. Yay. Sweet. So now I can go into the content and add the content for everyone, and we will be able to see their speaker page. Yep. Awesome. And you can build it straight from the uh, CMS as well. And um, we can build it straight from the CMS, which is fantastic. So, oh, I'm not logged in. Awesome. I, w I was logged in a minute ago. What happened? That's in Chrome. You're in Firefox now, right? Yeah, I, w I was probably in Chrome. I've been switching back and forth. I was telling Scott a little earlier, we have a backdrop filter on the bubbles that only works in Chrome-based browsers. So um, it looks a little better in Chrome than Firefox, unfortunately, which is odd that it's one of those things. But now... Mm. like. If we wanted to, we could come over it's, here and add speaker content. I'm just going to show everyone how we could go and not mine and add bio in here. And then once we're done adding the bio, we save and publish, and then we can start building I with this. I've got all of them. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> every, all cat's cats made, in there. every cat has made an appearance. There we go. Fantastic. <laughs> Sorry we ran over 
10 minutes, but that was really fun. And I really good. appreciate yeah. your help again. <laughs> and we've got, we got everything there. that we wanted to done. So, uh, oh yeah. Sure. Did P- Peru, Peru made the bubbles more. Speedy. Peru made the bubbles. Yeah. Awesome. Very nice. Um, Thanks Peru. Use some GPU accelerated thing instead of they're so they're not as laggy and more performant, which we always want. And we're mm. going, I'm working on making a checkbox or something so you're able to turn them off if you don't want animation. So we want to make it more accessible to everyone. Nice. So, Brilliant. So should we just do a qu- I mean, we've done the recap, haven't we? We've, uh, so it's better thing that we've done. We kind of did a little bit of a recap, but we can show here that I we don't have a speakers route set up yet, like a link to it, but we can type in speakers. Oh, of course. Yeah. Uh, why is that Netlify? Um, should this, yeah, should why is that not? A, that should, should be a, a route. <laughs> uh, what have we got on localhost? There's nothing in the console there either. That's fantastic. Do we have an error page? Do we have? I, I thought I, I do have a default error page. I thought huh. this is the preview. This is local host. So let's go to speakers. Okay. okay. What did I type in? Did I type in anything different? Speakers. Hmm. That's really weird. Um, has that's published right as well? So, did, oh, it's in a pull request. So it, it's not going to. Oh, we should, have an, we, should, we should we should have an error page. <laughs> you're we right. Should we page. should have this an error page, and I. An page, you're right. I don't have an error page set up, so. So if we go I mean, to the preview, we could see the, the speakers page, but not on the that, device because it's not being merged. Yeah. And I'll, I'll have to work on getting that error page set up in there, but that is something we need to add. Um, preview. And that will have the speakers route. You're right. Slash speakers. Uh, after the Netlify. Uh, oh, all the way at the end? Uh, yeah. Oh, there yep. Okay, there we go. That made me freak out, but it's there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about now? All right, and then we well, can click on the speaker. Yeah, cool. Excellent. So um, it's shaping up. Um, yeah, it is starting to get a few things and you can go pop bubbles. You can't see the speakers route yet though. Cause I haven't merged the pull request. <laughs> it's like That's so cool. addictive. I could just sit here all day and pop bubbles. It's fun. Yeah. I was, uh, I was shown off in the uh, show and tell at work, uh, <laughs> popping bubbles. Uh, all right. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for joining. I appreciate it. Thank you, Scott, for helping me again. I really enjoy these streams, and it's I feel been, like they're really beneficial. It's been an absolute pleasure, and learn something new each time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, every time I code, I learn something. Yeah, that I don't fantastic. remember. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm pretty much the same. <laughs> All right. Brilliant. So uh, thanks everyone for stopping by and uh, see you next one. Thanks. Thanks. Bye-bye.